1510. So looking at seeing whether or not we can see this wider vision of the queen maneuver or whatever it's giving to us, because we're just not seeing the magical positions that the computer is showing us in evaluation afterwards. I'm going to attack the pawn twice, can expect it to push. And that must give us something. The computer would find something like that, you know, and it's like, whoa, that's a nice position, but it's the continuation of the moves afterwards. So we can't do that now because the bishop's x ray through to our king. So we may as well just do simple potatoes. They just need to be grabbing the pawn back, don't they? So I'd be just doing this sort of stuff and trying to get the bishop out and castle in. Might seem a bit slow. So they have attacked. So we can move the knight and can move the knight to no because we haven't got the queen behind we go there the queen just takes we take knight takes we haven't got the queen there so i'm usually not a fan of bringing the knight on the inside because it gets attacked but we do have on pass on but the knight's going to take there. But do we get a bit of momentary breathe? Maybe. Let's just bring the... And attack the bishop. Can't see anything fancy yet. Not that I want fancy. But I'm trying to see the magical moves that the computer sees. We could bring the knight back around, couldn't we? Because we know this knight's going to get hit. take knight takes then this is going to hit the knight knight can't come here so the queen's protected at the minute could hit the knight double the pawns attacking the pawn twice comes down and defends take inside we want to take this way, open up the bishop. Castle queen side, but it's easily defended, so I don't really want to be wasting any time doing that. Right, so is the queen taking, supporting the pawn? Could bring the bishop out, defending. I'm going to bring the bishop out, it's developing, getting the pieces working together rather than rushing and developing his pieces even more for him. I think. <laughs> Simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. I suppose that's a get out clause that strategically, isn't it? Because with me taking, I'm thinking I'm developing their queen off the back. Not necessarily a much improved position, but it's developing. And um, so this is why I didn't want to capture yet. If the queen moves off the line, then we can take because it doubles the pawns. So we're looking to try and get them linked up. Open file, see if we can own it. All simple chess. Highly advanced pawn. It's duly going to be supported, so probably this and then that. But we can attack the head of the snake. We do have pieces. I think this bishop's coming out here just to say I'm developing my pieces too.
Been a few in Chetta win with the bishop. So we can take, or we can hit the pawn, give them something to think about. I'm going to hit the pawn before they start feeling powerful with the bishop. In fact, I could still do that anyway, because even if we take, the queen takes. Yes, that had to happen, didn't it? They do have a poor majority as well in there. Right, are we deliberating too much? Could we just bring the knight here as rather than looking to attack? Is it doing anything? It's attacking this pawn. Just drops the pawn though. It's going to look like I'm doing something rather than capturing. I'm sticking with the don't want to develop their queen for them. Obviously they do have capture, capture. Still got a poor majority on this side. Pawn does drop. So they are paying attention. They are interested in what we're doing. Let's come back and attack the knight again. Obviously we're not attacking it really because we're not going to take it yet. I've gone into the tank. It's got to be something to do with this poor majority they've got on this side. Bishop attacking. I think if they do attack with the bishop at this point, I might still leave it and just bring the rook here, looking to support. So it looks like it's going to be a mistake to take type situation. So the bishops come this way, it's attacking either way. Just bring the rook, like we said, just bringing it to support. They're probably just going to keep on doubling up and tripling up. Just locking the whole thing until they decide, right, I'm going to take. They've captured. Surprise. We're going to just double in the pawns and push, push, push. Not double in the pawns, undouble in the pawns. Just going to take, don't overthink it and just, just take a look at the situation. So it's fine. We've still got the rooks that can still come here. Like we said, potentially either they're going to probably been a rook here, maybe attacking, trying to make something happen. So we still got two on one, we could push, but then once we've done that, there's no going back. Queen comes down, gets a two on one. Then we're fighting for our lives. Could take, pawn just comes in again. I'm actually going to take. Maybe we can get the rook here, swing in here. When it's causing too much confusion, just simply take.
Maybe the queen's taken because our queen doesn't have any protection around the back. So then he looked to double up on the bishop, which would make sense. Oh, well, I'm hoping that that's the wrong move. Do we have any fancy sideways moves with the queen? Nope, we're just going to go with the rook. Could go for the exchange, queen takes, queen takes, queen comes down, attacks. Yeah, he's got still two on one. Mm. We take, queen takes. If we went to attack the queen here, he still has a two on one on this. So we don't really want them apples, do we? So if we push this pawn and support him before it all kicks off, and then we can freely take. is feeling like a definite over the board game type long play thinking thing which is good this is what we want in trying to get rid of the bad behaviors or rather lessen the bad behaviors so that they don't have such a big impact on the game so i can't change myself really the behaviors are still going to be there but i want to lessen the impact of those horrible situations attack the rook rooks don't have any place in the center of the board so it ask, makes you ask the question they're looking to double here at the so if we hit it then it just moves down if we hit it now queen comes here then we come with the rook then he goes there and then he's one in to us to take and then his pawn comes here to support his Isolated pawn. Mm, I don't really like that. I don't really like that. If we go here, then he has to do something. So maybe he just takes. Then we take. And even still, is he just going this way and trying to do something with his knight? Probably wants his knight to sit here, attacking center. Hmm. Get this bishop doing something. It's blocking this pawn at the minute. Don't need to do that now, I don't think. Attack. Takes. Takes. What comes across? Take in the pawns here. And we would be struggling a bit then, wouldn't we, really? Ship comes back. Right, let's find what we can do. Queen can attack the rook, but what he's going here. Just take the rook off the board. The queen takes. This is the part that's annoying me, this one here, and then there. Hmm. Not a fan, not a fan. Can we not make this better for us somehow? Anyway. Takes. Or at least owning the file, if they do that. But not for very long because he's coming here. But then if we hit him. Mm. 
Mm. Interesting. Right, let's um, look at that differently. Go there and take, so we'll go here. It's there. Uh, we go, oh, excuse me, if it comes across. We hit. We takes, we takes. That might feel a little bit better. Let's hit the rook. Watch them do nothing that we've just calculated. Yeah, excellent. So that part is okay. Just waiting for the rook to come flying here now. Ah, uh, they're not doing that. Right, okay. Got to check on their king. That square bishop doesn't have a return though, so it's going to be pretty safe there. I mean, they can always block. They're still going for it. So we'll follow the thing that we said, which was bringing this here. The knight's definitely not getting involved. So I'm just going to bring the bishop here, giving the king company. It's part of the mantra, looking at ch trying to block off any of the blind spots that they're trying to go for. So it's probably lucky we saw their formation that they're trying to go for. Nice little fork thing here, it looks supporting. We don't have any clear checks on the king. We've got the rook thing, but it's um, there's nothing there. Bishop can come here, the pawn drops. Just trying to see if I can fashion some up, but I don't really think there is. Check. Finger. Bishop here. Pawn drops. Pawn drops. Queen is nowhere to be seen. It is supporting a pawn. Oh, hold on. Pawn drop. No, the king's there. And the rook's there. Hmm. Okay, let's leave that, but I'm drawn to it, even though it's um, not got anything. So the rook would be up. Don't have to put the check on, can just leave it there. Pawns, airy, queen, can't squeeze in yet. Yeah. They're deep, deep, deep in the tank now. Mm. 
Yes, getting closer to our king. He's also protecting the pawn. Rook can't come here to attack anything. Rook can go here, like we said, to put the check on. I'm hoping maybe it's going to be a saving grace, but it's not going to be, is it? Rook puts the check. It's a tempo win. He has to move the king. Only space we've got here. We could push on to their queen, but he can take the pawn. Could hit the rook, but they'll take the bishop. Could attack the pawn twice. But what are we missing? Are they trying to get here but our queen is there right we can bring the rook here drops the pawn we take doesn't drop the pawn something comes to protect knight maybe no i think we'll just attack the pawn Thank you.